Friendly Neighborhood Master Alan, we are going to talk about the Mandalorians and the Samurai. Never mind. Boring transition. I can't remember where I put my alchemist. They're here somewhere. They didn't walk away. I just don't know where I hung them up. So Mandalorian culture is showing us some really cool parallels to samurai philosophy that are counterpoints to the Jedi's version of samurai philosophy, and I'm loving it. If you are not already consuming any of the content from Jewish creators that are drawing parallels between their faith and culture and what we're seeing in The Mandalorian, do that. It's fantastic, instructive, and there's a whole lot there that's obviously intentional. My assumption with the parallels to a samurai philosophy are more archetypal in nature than intentional because there's a whole lot of stuff philosophically that kind of comes down to archetypes. So... So there are two primary approaches to sword styles. Two, apologies to my British and Australian and New Zealandic followers. Katsujin Ken, the life-giving sword. It's more yin than yang. It is the Jedi path. The other is Satsujin Ken, or Ansatsu Ken, the killing sword. Ansatsu is more yang than yin. Now the Sith embody a bunch of the Ansatsu Ken kind of practice, but all the most toxic elements of it. And now both methods of training in sword are entirely viable and they have their place. There's not like a wrong way and a right way. To understand the difference, we need a door. Unsatsuken. I don't care that there are a hundred of you between me and that door. On the other side of that door is the one person that I need to find out what color their internal organs are. And there maybe isn't gonna be a whole lot of me left to find out about what color that is but I'm gonna do it. Katsujin, everything that is important to me is on the other side of this door. So I don't care that there are a hundred of you that all wanna get through. There may not be a whole lot of me left at the end, but not one of you is so much gonna touch this doorknob. Now, Star Wars has something to say about saving what we love and not destroying what we hate. And in general, broad strokes, that is my path that I do as a martial artist, so I agree. But it's not the only way. This is the way. Because there are always going to be people that need protecting. But sometimes you also need someone that can just kill a motherfucker. And the reason I say this as archetypal is because these two things are two of some of the oldest archetypes in storytelling. Captain America is more Katsujin Ken. Iron Man is more Ansatsu Ken. Odysseus and Achilles. Well, as a martial artist, I cannot tell you how great it has been to see Ansatsu Ken viably presented in the Star Wars universe, because up to this point, there really hasn't been one. And keep in mind, I'm saying that as someone that kind of reps more for the other team. Anybody that's got an interest in seeing more content about these two philosophies and talking about it in Star Wars and in other places, comment so that I know there's interest, and that'll tell me that I need to do more of this stuff. Although maybe this is more something for YouTube, I don't know.